Hi, this video is to deal with the noise problem encountered with um, the powered vents. Uh, this is a Bradford and White or Bradford White water heater. And it's on right now. It seems pretty uh, quiet right now. But that three inch pipe, that exhaust pipe, uh, is probably the problem and why it makes so much noise on the outside. I'm going to talk about how to fix that quickly inexpensively and uh, we'll go into that right now. So just as uh, information, you have the, the, the basic exhaust that can go up a chimney flue or a natural vent type exhaust. You can have a direct vent, which this is, where it doesn't have fresh air coming in. It just takes air from the room in the bottom and then heats it up, blows it out the uh, outside exhaust. And then on our furnace, you can see there is uh, an exhaust, but there's also uh, an air intake. So this is what they really call a powered exhaust versus a direct exhaust. We're going to be dealing with the, the video here, which is for the direct vent. So the biggest problem is everyone thinks it's the fan motor that's making a lot of noise. That's not the problem. Uh, as you can hear, it's fairly quiet. We're in the basement. Um, the problem is with this thing making the noise through that pipe on the outside, I can hear it uh, in the second story. So that's what we need to fix. One of the interesting things to see on the vent piping is that there is both horizontal minimums and maximums and vertical minimums and maximums. When there is a three inch exhaust fan pipe, like we have here, the flue pipe, without any elbows, the minimum length is 10 feet. The um, minimum vertical is five feet. Now each elbow, it says, uh, changes that reduced by five feet for every 90 degree elbow. But as you can see, with a three inch pipe, your maximum horizontal is 105 feet and 55 feet vertical. So this has, basically, this shouldn't be using three inch pipe. This should be using a um, two inch pipe to exhaust. And that's why it's causing so much of a problem. Okay, so here's the exhaust on the outside of the, of the house. It's a three inch. Um, the, the problem is that's just too big of a diameter for that small run. Um, and what's happening is there's kind of a uh, harmonic resonance inside the tube, kind of like a tunnel effect. And there's this big echo. So the wind is uh, being amplified and created by going through and whirling through this, um, this large vent. So we're gonna fix that. The, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go back there and you wanna cut this piece off if you've got one of these. If it's not glued on, uh, you can just take it off, but if it's glued on, cut it off, and um, then you'll be able to remove it. If you cut it close, and there's still some, some space back here, you'll be able to just put it on um, by flipping it uh, when we uh, put the thing together. Okay, now we've cut this part off. You can see that this now will become the, uh, when we put it back, we'll put it with the uh, other side out like this. And... Uh, It'll work just fine, but right now you can see that we have that three inch uh, exhaust hole that we need to to help silence. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is figure out how large of a suppressor we should uh, make. So we need to measure the depth of this horizontal. It's about two feet. We need to make it shorter than that. Remember, we don't want to um, block that vertical pipe that ties into here at the at the end. So we'll make it uh, maybe three inches shorter than this. Okay, so if you want to get a uh, Schedule 40 two inch diameter piece of ABS plastic piping it, from Home Depot, it's less than four bucks. Um, you can use that, cut it down to the right size. Uh, next, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna take uh, a spade bit on a drill and put in a whole bunch of holes here. 
Uh, we may also want to notch the edge off uh, so that when it's put into the, the horizontal pipe, it doesn't block that vertical um, gas pipe coming up. So you don't want to block any of those exhaust gases. So drilling the hole is, I mean, these are really easy. It's just a simple... Just do them like that all over. Uh, I suggest maybe doing it outside because the, uh, the ABS plastic and PVC plastic can have some nasty fumes when they heat up. So, um, next step. Okay, when you're finished, you should have something that looks kind of like this. Got a lot of holes all over it. Um, I've notched the bottom out here. So when this is put into, <clears throat> Slid into that three inch pipe uh, on the bottom, it'll have this notch so the, the, the gas can go in and then out. So that's all there is to it. Next thing we need to do is just wrap it with some insulation. Okay, what I've got here is just some insulation. Uh, it doesn't have any paper on it. You don't want any kind of the, the paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it along the length of that pipe and then we're going to. Uh, Fasten it with some galvanized steel uh, wire, and that way um, it'll suppress that sound, but it'll still let the exhaust gas out with a two-inch diameter. Okay, so we're finished with this piece. Um, I've marked the edge with a little notch right on top, if you can see those, uh, to indicate where this should be on the bottom. And uh, because I'm going to, as I put it into this vent pipe, I'm going to rotate it. You can see it is free flowing, but it is a suppressor. So uh, all we need to do is just kind of put this thing in. I'm trying to hold this with uh, one hand while I film. But what you want to do is slowly put it in there because one is a three inch diameter and the other one is a two inch diameter. It should work just fine. And what this is going to do is get rid of that resonance. Now I'm looking to have this on the top. I left this one a little bit longer. And then what I'll be able to do is just take this piece, remember the one we cut off? I'll just turn it around now and then put this one on basically like this. Sorry if the video is jumpy. Okay, it's all now put back on. I left this unglued so I can take this off, and if I wanted to, um, I would be able to look in there and see if anything's being blocked. Um, so, anyway, hope that helps. It, I know for me, it uh, that's, you know, upstairs, I could hear this all the way down here, and it helps out a lot. So, good luck. <clears throat> Just to recap, this is where we put the sound suppressor, right here. So we didn't want it going too far and blocking the shaft. The other important thing is make sure you test it when you're all finished. Go outside when the fan is running, when this thing is on, make sure all the uh, it's blowing and it's, and it's not being blocked. Uh, it's also probably prudent to have a CO detector, a carbon monoxide detector, down in your basement to check to see if um, the levels are too high. Carbon monoxide poisoning is serious. It, it does kill. So uh, if you're uncomfortable with doing this, have a professional install it, but it shouldn't be that hard to reduce the sound. This worked great for me, and now this thing is silent. You can't hear it outside. Uh, it works great. Thanks.